Hey guys, welcome back to The Fire Garden. My name is Daniel and on this channel we talk about personal finance. And today I'm bringing you a bit of a different video as I'm going to be going over EQ Bank. Currently I actually parked about $19,000 of my own cash in EQ Bank because I do believe the stock market is a little bit overvalued and it's probably the best place for me to put my money in right now for the short term, especially as I'm planning to buy a house and I just use this for a general savings account because they have the best interest rates in Canada. So stick around if you want to find out more about EQ Bank. Currently they have an amazing offer for you guys. If you deposit about $100 into your account, you can get $20 for free. And that link is in the description down below if you want to sign up today. Their interest rates are currently around 2%. Your GICs you can buy for 1.5, which kind of shows that the interest rates are probably going to drop for the next couple of months. However, this is still the best interest rate that you can get for any sort of high interest savings account. While simple cash is only around 0.9, and if you go to a traditional big five bank, you're going to earn about 0.025%, which is peanuts. So we're here on EQ Bank's site, and we can see that they have a 2% interest on the flexibility of a checking account. And that's really amazing for the current economic times, as interest rates have been plummeting, the feds have been cutting interest rates week after week, if we keep scrolling down on the website, we can read a couple of things. We can see that they have no banking fees and it's easier to help keep your money in your pocket that way because if you go to a big five bank right now, you need to keep a minimum deposit amount of let's say two to three thousand for TD just to open a basic account. With RBC, you're always paying a fee. They have competitive GIC rates and we'll check out those rates later on. So basically the 2% interest rate is on your account balance. You don't even have to buy a GIC for that. Basically your typical checking account might give you 0.015% um, or 0.025% which is like nothing. If you need to make international money transfers, they partner with TransferWise. You can send money for around 8 times cheaper. For me I've never done this before but if you're into international money transfers and need that kind of service, you can try out their calculator here if you go to the website. If we go to the Savings Plus account, this gives you a bit more detail on the regular savings account that they offer. Again, 2% interest, they really heavily advertise that one. Um, and if we continue going right down, you can see the perks of the account. You can have a maximum balance of $200,000. So for those of you who are maybe a bit more mature in your wealth building, this account might not be the best for you because you can only hold around 200,000. But for those of you who are just starting off, $200,000 is more than enough. There's a zero minimum balance, which is awesome. So let's say you're someone who kind of lives paycheck to paycheck right now. Um, this works in your favor because you can have a zero minimum balance. You don't need to worry about dropping below a certain threshold and having to pay a fee. You can have unlimited Interact e-transfers, and I know a lot of banks tend to charge for these e-transfers, especially if you have the lower tier accounts. So with EQ Bank, it's unlimited. You have also unlimited bill payments, so if you're paying cell phone bills, hydro bills, you can do this through EQ Bank. Um, you can also have unlimited electronic fund transfers. So this is if you're transferring funds from another bank account into EQ Bank, you can do an unlimited amount. That's kind of what I do because I set up my bank accounts so that I have TD as well as EQ Bank. Um, so I'm able to move funds from TD all the way over to EQ Bank. But there's certain reasons why I use TD still. Um, if you're kind of wondering why, you can shoot me a message or um, I maybe will talk about it in a later video. Um, so those are all the benefits to the personal banking. Now if we head over to the GICs tab, you can see that the GIC rates are currently 1.5% for three months, um, 1.7 for one year. If you go further than that, maybe if you want to do four years, then you're going to match that 2% rate, which you can lock in for four years. If you really think the economy is crap right now and you want to lock your money in for four years for 2%, that's just kind of to help combat inflation. You can go all the way to a 10-year GSC for 2.7% if you really aren't interested in investing in the stock market and just want to hold a higher interest rate than what you can get currently today. So your GICs, you need a minimum of $100 in order to purchase one. So that's not a super high threshold for most of you guys. So, so purchasing a GIC through EQ Bank, it's very easy and the minimum amount is very minimal. 
Also, you can track your EQ Bank progress through a mobile dashboard. So just um, having the mobile app, you're able to track your progress through there. Yeah, so that wraps up the GIC page right there. Um, and now I'll just log into my account so you can see what it looks like when you're inside your account. So the sign in page is right here. Just click sign in. It looks like something went wrong on their end. So I'll have to come back and wait until they fix this problem. Um, that's, I guess, sort of the, the issues with these newer bank accounts. They're all online and they don't exactly have the best infrastructure set up for software. I've had this issue a couple of times where I tried to log in and I'm unable to. This might just be like too much traffic going in there, but beware if you're going to sign up and you need but beware when you sign up, you may face issues like this, but personally, this is kind of a rare occurrence. Um, I've been on the platform for about three months and saw this issue. This is my second time seeing the issue. So I'll be back when the site reopens. Hey guys, so we're back and EQ Bank is up and running. It only took maybe about a couple hours for them to resolve the issue. So you can see here in my account, I have roughly around $19,000. That's how much I deposited and this 1526 is actually the interest that I've earned so far. So you can see on the account I've deposited $2,000 and the interest accumulated was 93 cents. This is however the interest for the month of April. They actually don't deposit your interest um, until the end of the month. So today being May 31st, I'll get my interest tomorrow on June 1st. You can see I have two GICs that I purchased, um, one at $10,000 and one at $7,000. And that interest actually tracks daily. So if we click on one of these GICs, um, we can see that I've earned around $10.11 um, since, I believe, May 13th. Um, the interest rate is 2.05. Um, so you can see the interest rate has actually dropped since May 13th by about 0.5%. Um, um, so now let's go back to my dashboard. You can see that you have a couple of options up here. You can pay a bill. You can move money between accounts. You can send an Interact e-transfer you can buy GICs. Um, I'll just click on the buy GICs tab just to give you an idea of what it looks like. You have to select from what account you want to purchase a GIC from. And this shows you the account balance over here um, and how much you want to purchase. Let's say I want to make a $1,000 purchase of a GIC and I can choose my rates. Um, so you can see all the rates here. Then you can talk, then they want to know how you're intending to use the account personal savings, deposits, investments, just select one and you can nickname your GIC. So I've nicknamed my GIC house fund because that's what I'm saving up the money for. Um, so it just gives me a better idea of when I, if I buy a lot of GICs, what each one's for. Um, you can go send interact e-transfers. It's fairly simple to do that. Just click I need to send and it'll direct you to a new page. So you can transfer to, who do you want to transfer to? Just click that. Uh, you can add a new recipient, um, send by, transfer. Just your standard Interact e-transfer stuff here on this tab. Then if we go back to the dashboard, you can pay a bill. I actually haven't set up any bill payments because this isn't my main account. Um, I pay all my bills through TD, so um, you can see that I haven't added a biller, but you just add a biller. You can put the company name and um, more information in terms of like your account um, with that company. Money between accounts. So this is the um, electronic transfer. So you can select from which account and I have my TD account here linked and you can select where it's going to. So I can move money between my TD and my EQ bank account. Select the amount and date. You can also set up a recurring transfer if you want to between accounts. So that about wraps it up for what's in the EQ Bank dashboard when you log into it. Now I'll switch over and show you the mobile app. So now we're here on the mobile app and you can see there's the ability to sign in with your fingerprint. So I'm going to sign in through that. The dashboard is fairly well built. Um, I think it's very user friendly. It just shows your total holdings up top then shows your account balance in the middle and below my GSCs that I purchased. And at the bottom, you can see that um, I have bills that I can pay. So I can basically do a lot of things on the mobile app that I can also do online. But the one thing on the mobile app that you can do that you can't do online that I found is make a deposit via check. 
So I can basically take a picture of the front and the back of the check, enter the amount, and the amount will be deposited into my account, and that check will essentially become void. This way, um, EQ Bank is able to do everything online instead of having you go into a branch, and that way you don't need to spend the time traveling to the branch as well. Others on the dashboard, you can see these are the options. You can set up a direct deposit. You can refer a friend. Again, if you want to sign up for UQ Bank, there's a $20 promotion going on. You get 20 bucks, I get 20 bucks once you deposit $100. Also further down, um, we can see there's a ton of other options. And here you can also buy GICs. Um, so it's a very similar interface as online as well. Another thing that I didn't really cover on the website is that here we can see that you can get tax documents. So for example, if you didn't open up a TFSA with them, and I don't know if there is a TFSA option right now, you can select a tax document and select the year. And from here you can see um, how much interest you've earned and how much you might owe the government in terms of taxes. Because all your interest earned in this account is not tax free if it's a personal account. So also in the mobile app, you have the option to change your email address, change your password, change your security questions, and also you can call EQ Bank right from the app if you want to. So that about wraps it up for the EQ Bank review. Um, so I've showed you the mobile, the desktop, and as well as talked about um, all the features that EQ Bank offers. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, as well as click the subscribe if you want to um, keep up to date with my personal finance journey as I continue to review different products as well as give you stock investment ideas and also show my analysis for different stocks that I'm purchasing. Keep up the grind and have a great day.